Hey guys, it's Charity Faithton. What time is it? It's one o'clock. Today, I'm not here with anyone. <laughs> Just me. And I'm going to show you how to make a playing cards wallet. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need is scissors, cards, playing cards, and tape. That's it. So let's get started the second time. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your packaging tape and then make it a little long, but it depends how long you want it to be. And then like this long. this and then put it on the floor just lay it on the floor with the sticky side facing up and then you're gonna take another one and make it the same size so then it's okay if it's a little bit bigger just place it right on top of the other sticky one and then do it two more times all right so when you're finished you should it should be like this you see maybe as big as your face if it is if you have my face <laughs> So I took the cards that I want. I'm doing jacks, kings, and queens. And so I'm taking them all. I just ordered them all out. You can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter, but I'm doing jacks, kings, and queens like I just said. And then you're going to take this side and then place it down on the far side of the tape. Just, so it's just like that. And do it until the whole roll is filled out. All right, so I just filled all mine out. It's all like this. So one of them is bigger, this king. So I'm gonna cut that off. And I'm just gonna put that back in. And then you're gonna have some side like this, Dill's tape. And then you're just gonna cut that off. And then it's gonna look like this. If one of them isn't completely covered in tape, that's okay. Okay, people. So then you're gonna have something like this, and then you know, if you have any other color, like if it's uh, eight, and then it's a uh, seven, and then a uh, two, and then a one, and then a well, whatever you're doing, if it's just random ones, if you want, you can fold it like that sort of thing. I don't know, whatever I'm folding it. So then you can fold it like that if you want, but I'm doing certain ones. I'm doing, but you can do whatever you want, but I'm doing kings, jacks, and queens. So I'm going to try to fold it, because I can't, because this is too long. One of them fold it over the other side. Well, there's a solution to that. So you're going to take the other end, this, and you're going to fold it like that. Tape it on... Just take that end. So I have something like this and that. So then you're going to go take this end and do the same thing. But this end is also it's overlapping, so I'm just going to pinch it side because it's eventually going to follow in. If it's not following in, you can just bend it and then find the other side of the tape. Always, and then it's going to be like that that so I want mine to go like this now sort of thing so because this is a red and then I'm just gonna fold it like that and then this is really hard to fold so you're gonna really have to pinch it and if you can't pinch it take big books and then fold it the way you want to and then heavy books big books and then just sit on it and wait till five minutes it's done and then it'll be perfect but I'm doing mine the hard way so it won't fold out like that I'm gonna hold it with my foot and of course I'm going to tape these sides. then if you are doing this show this off to your friends and that's that and then put it bottom long and then do it to the other side and then I taped it and then you can tape it as many more times as you like but I'm only taping it like this but then 
you have this and it's like that. So then you're gonna tape the top of those. So then I'm just going like this. And then I'm putting it on the inside. Then it's okay if it's way longer than the outside because you don't want to see the tape unless it's overlapping sort of thing. So then there's one of them. One of them is taped shut right there. Now I have to do the other side and you're gonna have to do it four times. So I'm on my third one and then I have to do my fourth. And then there it is. You have your own precious special wallet. So now question. What do you think my dog's name is? Most of you probably know this cause you probably know me. Cause everybody that subscribed, I know. Cause they told me. So now it's time for a shout out. My shout out goes to Ella, my cousin. So in my second video, the knotted bracelet one, I said, do you think I should make my own Let's Pee Up or should I make one from a cookbook that I thought was really rare? And she said, make your own Let's Pee Up. So I will, but hopefully my mom and my mom or dad will let me. So yeah, have a great day.